Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the coffee lecture today. It's about the Boris portal and research information at the University of Bern. The speakers today are Julia Wermelinger and Sumi Suntaram from the Open Science team. Thank you very much, Eri, for the introduction and welcome, everyone. Uh, we are pleased to talk to you today about research information and our system, Boris Portal. So today we will delve into the concept of research information. What comes to mind when you hear research information? Most people think about research data and publications, the results of research. This is how research findings are usually shared. And it's also the most common way that the public learns about researchers and their work. But there is more to research than its results. Think about how researchers work together across different organizations, how they collaborate in their fields, how they get funded by various institutions. This information isn't a direct result of research, but it's crucial to understanding how research works and how the results come to existence. If we make this information as easy to find as the results, it helps the research to get more efficient. It's like having a full picture of how research is done, not just the final results. This can make research more connected and more collaborative. We argue that not only your peers and your university care about your research information, but also other parties. Consider how your research affects society. It could spark public interest and a discussion like we saw during the pandemic, as it had highly influenced how the government decided on actions. Companies might also be interested, leading to collaborations. In today's world, being clear and open about your research builds trust. This is not only important in academic circles, but also when working with others, seeking funding or taking part in society. So presenting your work in a clear and transparent way not only helps collaborations, but also increases your chances of getting support for future projects. Finding article and research data isn't the same challenge as it used to be. Thanks, for example, to our library catalogs and databases. But searching for reliable details about a research project, the people involved, and the activities of a project is harder. This is a challenge for both the individual researcher and also the university. The challenge is to try to keep up on ongoing research. But where can you find research information? On the slides, we included some examples like PubMed, a popular publication database or Zenodo as an example of a general repository. There's also CORDIS, a database of research projects funded by the EU. There's also a database for projects funded by the SNSF. There is Academia as an example of an academic social network. Maybe you have personal websites and blogs where you talk about your research. And also the university's administrative systems that contains detail about your affiliation and your position. However, as you are likely aware, this information is gathered across various sites and platforms. Looking at all the places where research information can be found, we see some challenges. The information is spread out on different websites and platforms, making it hard to keep everything updated. Each platform can have their own way of showing information, like formats and terminologies. This can lead to confusion for the human user and a lack of interoperability for technical systems. A single research project might be described differently on different platforms. Many of those platforms are not open source solution, making the users highly dependent on their functionality 
and sometimes even preventing information from being moved to other platforms. Support can be scarce, and there's a lack of help when publishing the research information. These challenges not only make it tough for researchers to find what they need, but also how the research is seen. Without standardized practices, universities struggle to keep up and to keep showcasing their research to collaborators, to funders, and to the public. Think about missed opportunities when the information is gathered. Companies might be looking for collaboration and struggle to find accurate details, leading to missed partnerships. So having a more organized and clear way of presenting research information would make the research world more efficient and transparent. Now, my colleague Sumi will show you our solution uh, to these questions. Now let's discuss why we propose an institutional solution for the challenges faced by the researchers of Bern. Boris Portal serves as our solution to simplify the presentation of your research. On this slide, you can see a screenshot of our homepage and by scanning the QR code, you can also have a closer look at it afterwards. Boris Portal provides a centralized space for your research information. It acts as a hub for your projects, so you can share project details, disclose funding and acknowledge collaborators and organizations. Additionally, you can also upload research data and link to resulting publications and thesis. What differentiates Boris Portal from other solutions is its role as an institutional repository. This means we ensure working sustainably with secure and standardized approaches. And being operated by the University of Bern, Boris Portal assures a stable and enduring solution for your research information. And because of that, we do have a commitment to preserving your work over time. In addition to that, Boris Portal is a community-driven and open source infrastructure solution. It represents a collaborative effort, therefore, and it is continuously adapted to the evolving needs of the academic community. Now, let's move on to what Julia has previously mentioned already. Standardization and centralization in managing research information within a repository is quite important. And in order to meet those requirements, we integrated international persistent identifiers to our infrastructure. So to give accurate attribution of funding, for example, regardless of spelling variations or potential name changes, we use funding identifiers from Crossref. For identifying organizations or institutions and ensuring proper credit allocation, we use the Research Organization Registry ID, in short, ROAR ID. To then enhance the identification and citation of research data, we assign a digital object identifier, a DOI to your data and other digital objects. Lastly, we also offer the option to connect or create an open researcher and contributor ID, short ORCID. This assigns a unique and persistent identifier to you as a researcher or individual. So Boris Portal's integration of these international persistent identifiers not only promotes standardization, but also ensures an accurate and reliable representation of your research information. To tackle the issue of scattered information and the associated high maintenance of the infrastructure, we find ourselves not quite where we would like to be. You might be familiar with Boris publications or institutional repository for publications 
and it is also the bibliography of the University of Bern. Additionally, we also have Boris thesis, our institutional solution to publish doctoral thesis. These two systems represent our initial repository endeavors, but it is now our intention to transition them into the new Boris portal. And this move aims to transform Boris portal into like a one-stop shop for your research information. And last but not least, we would like to let you know that we do have a dedicated team at the University Library of Bern committed to assisting you in with any questions regarding publications, research data, open access, and of course, research information and the infrastructure. So we are very happy to help. Feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.